Oh, good morning. That was Leave Me Alone, Calligraph Jones. Yo, I think today has been just a day of the OGs. The OGs have been respected. All right? Okay, cool. Now remember our question on Facebook. Head over to our Facebook page. Mazet Muliza Swali Apo. Make sure you tune in for this and more. Let's now look. Kama Kama Do I have an interview ready for you? And this guy goes by the name Kid Smoke. I don't know what that means, but his name is Kid Smoke. My name is Karen Jusa. Karibu sana. Hey, Kid Smoke. How are you thank doing? You. Uh, thank you for hosting me on the show. Karibu I'm really sana. here. Okay. Your white fever is all about, you know, upcoming artists, young upcoming artists. Napia, OGs, Pia, like you've had. Uh, I hope you end up with your league. I don't know what's your end time goal with music. <laughs> uh, maybe I want to be some Jay Z someday. What? Yeah. For real? Yeah, for real. Okay, great. Uh, blessings, blessings. May you make it. May you give us record labels and all that. So, Kid Smoke, who yeah. are you? What are you all about? And when did you join the music industry? Uh, Kid Smoke. Um, uh, my real name is Titus. Mm -hmm. I'm from Limuru. Uh, an area called Manjri. Ma? Manjri. Manjri. Yeah. Wait, Limuru kuna place in it or Manjri? Yeah, somewhere. Sounds like some suburbs or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, uh -huh. I'm from that side. Mm -hmm. I'm 24 years old. Okay. Uh, I'm a young man. Uh -huh. I hustle in the streets. And uh, the job we do, besides writing traps and uh, doing songs, mm -hmm. I babysit my mom. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm a mama's boy. I'm proud of that. What do you mean by babysit your mom? What does that mean? Babysitting my mom. Yeah. I, I, I stay with my mom, that's what that oh, means. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I started rapping in high school, in Form 2, you know that high school contest. Uh, my friend Stone, oh, really? yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My friend Stone from Banana mm -hmm. used to listen to six foot, seven foot, and, and really flows in class how he could you know, do the relics. So it was just a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, at that point I started, I just sang two verse of Dear Mama, you mm -hmm. know, that Dear Mama two pack song. Two pack? Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, hey, hey. Back in high school, they used to call me Sungura. So they, okay. they were like, okay, Sungura, hey, hey, we love that song, all that. So that hype kept in me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I really never took it seriously. Till uh, a bit last year, I was in a uh, college mm -hmm. at Kamiri the Polytechnic. Mm -hmm. And my friend Moaske, uh, first born mm -hmm. challenged me to, you know, write a song and rap. Mm -hmm. We're challenging each other. It just came as a, a challenge. I never knew I had the talent. Mm -hmm. I just found out when uh, I wrote the song and I did it. Mm -hmm. That when I wrote Feed You. Yeah, I really wrote and then I performed to him. He was so happy. He said, why don't you go to the studio? Mm -hmm. I said, I have no money. Yeah, so, that's a challenge, right? Yeah, there. that's a challenge. Mm -hmm. But I met this guy, CJ. Mm -hmm. He goes by the name Papas. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, record me, he recorded me that song, 1,500. The that only was money in I had. 2019 or? That was, yeah, 20, 20, 2019. No, 2018. 2018. Okay. 2018. Mm -hmm. 1,500. Mm -hmm. He recorded me an audio mm -hmm. and I posted it on my YouTube. He helped me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, to that point, so I had to look for the money for my video. Mm -hmm. Mama came along and I did my first song. Mm -hmm. That's Feed You. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe just to take you back, I yeah. bet somebody's as curious as I am. Yeah. Why did your high school friends call you Songura? I mean, <laughs> 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 why you, you know, a Songura is known to be very cheeky. And <laughs> so why you, why Songura? Why the name Songura? Why Songura? I was cunning as, yeah, and I was mischievous. Okay. On a daily basis, I never lacked on the principal's office. Okay. I had my way in trouble. But wow. the best but part was... But you look so, you know, reserved right now, so cool, calm and collected. Kumbe, you're a badass boy. <laughs> I got stitches on back. Oh, really? Yeah. For real, for real, or that's just some line that you just made? Yeah, I got stitches on my back. Okay. Yeah. From what, exactly? Like I've been an addict or that. Oh, really? Yeah. Drugs? You're into drugs? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I was really an addict mm -hmm. until I hate the rehab. I'm okay. afraid of saying this. Okay. I'm, you know what they do? I'm yeah. data, so I'm two years sober. Wow. Yeah, and I'm here. And you're here? It's a blessing to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and 
did that really inspire you know your comeback into music now yep yep yeah really. so that's where your journey is based yeah actually okay. one time i was doing bad things mm -hmm. i the, i chose quitting doing the bad thing and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. writing a song mm -hmm. yeah okay so tell us what's your creative process like you know we have artists who depend on the onguelo or Dogogyo to write a song but you chose the Soba Road. So what's your process like? What's your creative process like? Like when you're writing rhymes and the lines and everything, how, how do you do it? What, do you go by what comes into your mind or are you the type that tells stories, you know, stories of other people or your own stories? What, what's your creative process? I'm not that real story guy. Mm -hmm. I'm that sharing the feeling guy and what I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of all, I share my experiences. Mm -hmm. My experiences through music and that feeling good you know, music is about that therapy mm -hmm. where you know maybe you're stressed up, you're strapped up. Okay. You just wanna take that feeling away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, speaking of stress, mm. you have this song called Spitfire. Yep. Uh, is it stress related or what is Spitfire all about? Uh, Spitfire is just acknowledging myself. Mm -hmm. I I I can speed and uh, I think it's Spitfire. Okay. So I acknowledge myself. You know, I hey! can do it. Bro, so Majamini, <laughs> So, Spitfire is all about acknowledging yourself. Yep. Uh, what else do you talk about, like in the in, in the song? I'm uh, maybe that feeling good uh, when maybe I'm maybe I'm a lovey dovey guy, okay. but not really into girls. I'm a Negro, so I'm not. Really Are you for real, yeah, bro? I'm not, I'm not what? Really. Yeah. Ouch! <laughs> I know, right, Ellie? <laughs> Are you for real? You um, you're not really into girls. Yeah. What does that mean? You No, 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 okay. no, no, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I, it right. doesn't mean that way. Okay. I'm not that, you know, woman guy. Uh -huh. Though I oh, love. you're not the lovey-dovey. Okay. So, Valentine's for you tomorrow is... It's just me and mom. Is this you and mom? Are yeah, you going to buy her a rose, maybe? No, she can treat me. Wow. Uh, in parliament, they passed out this thing of, you know, gender equality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, you treat me. Okay, yeah. so if she says there is ugali na mchele kwa nyumba, you don't mind it? Dope. Okay, great. So what are your future plans like? You know, you have Spitfire, you have other tracks <coughs> that you've uh, released. What is 2020 looking like for you? 2020, oh, um, I want to release three more tracks. Mm -hmm. My Stop, uh, Rookie. Are they in the kitchen ready? Yeah, yet? They're, they, they're just uh, in the kitchen getting mm -hmm. up ready. Mm -hmm. They not Looking get, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that would be for me. 2023 songs and maybe get some a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel so I can start earning my own cash from the music mm -hmm. and live my own life. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally achieve the goal of living in my own house, not in my mom's house. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any other hustles that you have going on, maybe? Um, from the experiences I had in high school and uh, in the streets. Mm -hmm. In the streets, actually, they call me teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, after sobering up, mm -hmm. I, I got to teach, I got to undo, you know, like what Travis Scott says mm -hmm. in the J. Cole song where they did it in London. Mm -hmm. Let's undo what we did. Okay. You know, like the kids I used to teach how to smoke a joint and mm -hmm. do that kind of stuff and do bad things. Mm -hmm. I go and try and undo. Uh -huh. Undo what I did because it really hurts, but I do try. So it's more like teaching your experience, to but now trying to change, to change the them. narrative. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Good stuff. So uh, pr probably you can tell us maybe who are the artists that you're looking forward to work with? Oh, uh, to work with? Future, yes. um, K Green, K, K Green, Bonoko, K Green mm -hmm. Jovi Jovi, okay. and Bat Batros, the uh -huh. trap guy, the mm -hmm. normally trap, mm -hmm. and Chin Bees. Okay. And of course, the real OG in the bees. Eh, the real OG. Prezo. Pre really? Why Prezo? Prezo, CMB, you know, he got that experience. Okay. Since when maybe you were a teenager, back in the days, yeah, till now. So, I, I'm assuming he used to be your, he's your long term, long time inspiration. Yeah, yeah. Because CMB is a guy from Kitambo, man. I haven't had any songs since 2016. Early. Last year? Oh, he has us since, since last year. Okay, man. Now that's 
that's how far yeah. <laughs> dating how far uh you know i had cmb preso uh ladies any ladies you seem not to like women no 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 i don't <laughs> I, I don't have a problem with women uh -huh. i just have my space you, okay you like your space yeah, i like my That's, space okay yeah ladies comments by day maze he goes by the name uh kids kid smoke yeah. kids smoke maybe you can tell us why kids smoke kid smoke cuz you know you've told us about your a drug addiction journey yeah, yeah. why you know choose smoke yeah, smoke, smoke. yeah it's related <laughs> to you know drug abuse and all that smoke uh, naturally smoke is not just for drugs okay. but the real answer is uh, my name is getogo it's mm -hmm. on my id it's my family name getogo 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 a small smoke mm -hmm. so it's just oh yeah. wow okay yeah. now now i get it yeah <laughs> <laughs> now i get it, it, yeah. it, it if you know you know if you kikuyu you know you definitely know yeah. so getogo like ka smoke all yeah. right cool that's that's really interesting yeah uh maybe I'd, i'd like you to maybe tell us do you have any plans for performances are you going to perform any time soon or when 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 the chance pops up mm -hmm. definitely i'll just grab it and what about when you're at home do you ever perform at the forums that you're at you know when talking to the children or teenagers about drug abuse and all that they always challenge me to do that they mm -hmm. love my song they just love it okay yeah and the song that you're going to play for us today is speedfire 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 okay Okay, Spitfire by Kid Smoke is coming right up, but before we get to that, guys, I want to I want to read your comments. And DJ Ellie, hope you can those comments ready. Okay, all right. So, guys, our question today was which hip hop artist do you think uh would kill a show in Kenya? Halon Leon and Asuma Drake will bring the house down. Big up yourself guys to collect in Kutoka Samburu County. Call me DJ Tella the Grand Duke. Shout out to Henry Lebron out of Samburu County. Okay. MMG Hood Bilabong and Asuma the Baby and Tiger. All right. Stupid boy Omagwa Om and Asuma Eminem hands up. Uh H Kailari and Asuma Eminem and Jay-Z. Hey, Jay-Z bro, you love to pay a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. Kemi Kent and Asuma, juice, juicy world, juice world. He never disappointed. Oh man, oh man. Ferry Ogola, Clement and Asuma, also go winyo. And hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The producer, our producer is asking me on the line. So Ferry, tell us who that is. Job Choi, Kimani and Asuma. I think Kendrick Lamar will kill it. Be humble. Watching the show. Uh, nice from Thika and so locked in show is on fire. Thank you so much for tuning in, Job and LXL Magnolia and as a Snoop Snoopy Snoopy Snoopy. Oh, okay. Atawa DJ ni chazeki asi ya Jovi Jov coming right up. Macy Kadambi and as to me it's Eminem all the way. Please play for me, Little Engine by him. All right. Uh, Epopolic. All right, that's a new one. Epopolic Caliph. Kush and as much as Amoja, J. Cole, I'm a on it, Stormzy. Right, right. It's been a while since I had a Stormzy song, by the way. Rookie, Rookie, J. Cole, Middle Child. Okay, okay. Uh, Champagne, Wakalos, Drake, Ataweza, Drake, Tra Track Fit, Kelvin, Kevin, sorry, and as I'm a yo, I think Young Boy Never Broke Again uh, can kill it, mad. Play for me, how's the rest? And then Sam Young, Future Fit Drake, Life is Good, It Come Through, Please. Okay, all right. And then we have Kate Nyongesa and Asama 21 Savage. I'd love to see 21 Savage in, you know, in a Kenyan, Kenyan concert. But somebody actually said he's turned out to be, after his new album, I don't know what, it's new song rather. New, it's a new album, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Yeah, but there's a comment there that says he's cha he's changed to Savage 21 and not 21 Savage. So yeah, he's looking that fine. Anyway, uh, which artist would you like to see, you know, perform in the Kenyan uh, forum, maybe events? Uh, who do you think would kill the show? And how much money would you want to pay for that particular show? Uh, who is Galifa? Really? Yep. Bro, the smoke, man, the <laughs> smoke. <laughs> Yep, you know. But if you go to a Wiz Khalifa event, it's it's guaranteed there will be smoke. 
No, you know one thing, mm -hmm. the real thing about him, he mm -hmm. just says, be yourself, be not yourself. be me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you'd vibe with that. Yeah. How much would you pay? For him? Mm -hmm. I just pay 50. 50K? Yep. 50,000? Yeah, for me. Kids mode? Yep. 50K? Yeah. All right, cool. Anyway, let us know where can we find you on your Facebook pages, social media platforms, in case there's, you know, somebody who wants to do a collab with you, how can they reach you? Yeah, I'm just, um, only on Facebook, mm -hmm. Titus Gatago. And YouTube, Kid Smoke. Sorry? You, on YouTube, you'll find me on Kid, Kid Smoke. smoke. Yeah. So mainly YouTube and? And Facebook. Kid Smoke, YouTube, Kid Smoke, uh, uh, Facebook. All right, DJ Ellie. Yeah. weekend in case you know I'm plotless mm. Valentine's like this just in case you know these people mm -hmm. these people this kind of people mm -hmm. decide to take us nowhere it's okay ni pate mpango nita come through Saturday Vineyard for real? yeah Vineyard Kiamburud Kiamburud for real? yeah I'll be there please come I love Sunday Claret Claret mm. Wait, that's my new area code, guys. So <laughs> please come, come to Jibambi. Mm. Sawa, I'll come through. Please. So Claret on Sunday and Vineyard on Saturday. Mm. Cold stuff. Nipangu ya weekendi maybe. Me. Umetuambia kesho kuna mam, but Saturday Sunday. Saturday Sunday. Be in the office. Okay, he will be in the office. I go by the name Karen Jusa, and thank you so much for tuning in to Hip Hop Thursday, the only hip hop show in the 254. Uh, I'm so glad that you, you know, you have been with us. Make sure you tune in all through until the evening because 7:30 p.m. Unfinished will be coming right up. Co-host uh, right next to Mike Gitahi, uh, he'll be around there. And also, by the way, just so you know, Kesho Friday ni Valentine's. Mi pangozi come through pale kwa social media platform. You can find me as Karen Kankang. Ni pay ni plants, but sato na jokule tutakwa na Sunday na jokule kule tutakwa. Vineyard Claret. It's a wrap. Let's hear the song by Kidsmoke. Smoke. Spitfire.